and did you, you got Mike's Skype handle? He, he's on right now. Oh, okay, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now in the chat room celebrity of the week. <laughs> Mike, how are you? Doing good, just sitting here grading papers and listening to you. Okay, so you're grading papers, so what uh, what age group do you teach? Uh, I have uh, eight and nine-year-olds. I have third graders. And at what school, if you can say? Uh, Ethel I. Baker Elementary in Sacramento, California. Okay. Oh, Sacramento, California has one of the world's greatest train museums. Yes, we do. We also have the record number of VCRs in the country, or at least we have that on there. <laughs> the re- you mean even today? Oh, well, th- that was held a couple of years ago. I'm hoping, I still have a VCR, but that's that's me. What are pack right. Oh, oh okay. Um, all right, so you're a teacher. How long have you been a teacher? Uh, 15 years, a little, more, a little bit over. Okay, and has that been your career your entire life? Oh, oh, oh Mike, what's your, handle in the cha- what's your handle in the chat room so everybody knows? Um, I usually use Mike-Triano. I don't think I'm back in the chat room. I'll go, I'll go oh. back in a little while. Yeah. All right, no, no, just so people know when you're back in there, uh, who the celebrity chat room person of the week was. Um, okay. So I, I know Mike from, Mike has uh, went out in California the first time I was out there with his wife, Jean, yes. and they visited Mad Magazine when he came to the city, and we met through Twit. So Mike, how did you get in, when was your first encounter with Leo and or Twit? You're behind me. We well, never went to any focus group, by the way. What? We never went to any focus group. Why don't you start talking about that? Okay, okay. I'm getting a little bit of repeat of the voice right now. Um, your bandwidth got wonky because we were both playing and you had a really bandwidth is, uh, it's a little okay I'm, still, I'm getting a little bit of feedback so it's just kind of throwing me uh, back when uh, there was a show on uh, MSNBC there was a show called The Site and uh, uh, Gene and I we'd stay up late at night and we used to watch that uh, and we were intrigued there was a guy Leo Laporte on there and we just said oh it's just very interesting to watch uh, then uh, Tech TV started up, and there was a, a, a what is it, a focus group? Yeah. Just confirming with Gene. Uh, there was a focus group, and they said uh, uh, they wanted people in the San Francisco area to come down and talk to them. Uh, Gene called up and said, well, how about uh, we get a tour of the studio? And they said, are you joking? It was like, it's like the size of, it's like the size of the first floor of our house. Hi. <laughs> As Gene, Gene's trying to come in here with our with our grand cat. Um, we were actually at the screensavers. We would have been there the first week. Yeah, you would have uh, But uh, we actually made it there the second week. They were letting in audiences. Wow. So what year was the MSNBC thing? About how long ago is that? Yeah, the MSNBC thing was, so I think, sometime early back in the early 60s. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was with Silver yeah. Dan O'Brien. It was when uh, Leo was doing Dev Mode. Oh my word! The cartoon character, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was doing that, and there was just something special about Leo. And I always said I really wanted to meet that guy. He just—he just seemed so different. And we went down to the screensavers, and uh, we've we've admired him ever since. Um, yes, there there is something special about Leo. Uh, okay, so now, uh, so chat room. Here's your chance to ask Mike a question or two or three. And uh, so let's type questions. Um, I can answer that one. Mick ha- uh, Mike <laughs> Mike and Gene have been to the Brick House. They came out. Uh, did you come out for the opening? Yes, we were there. Uh, we made it to the opening. Matter of fact, we're even in the film. And then we were there for the one year anniversary. And I go back whenever I get a free weekend. I take a motorcycle ride down. Oh, great, great. Oh, okay, Metro the Dog, your favorite thing to teach? My favorite things to teach? Uh, actually, I hated math as a kid, but I actually loved teaching it. Oh, okay, very good. Uh, Gangnam Style wants to know what your Twitter handle is. What, what my what handle is? Twitter. 
my Twitter. I, my Twitter handle it does not exist. I left Twitter probably about four or five years ago. Oh, okay. Um, oh, Eric Dublin is saying, wait, this is Mike and Gene? I thought they lived in New York. No, they live in Sacramento, California. Yeah, we do. Oh, I was, this... I was born in New York City. Oh, whereabouts? I was born in Manhattan General Hospital, which no longer exists. I think they called it uh, Louis Armstrong Memorial. Is that, where, where, where was Leo born? I know Leo was born also in New York City. I have no idea what hospital he was born in. Okay, but he was born in New York. Uh, Web9880 uh, has a good question. Are today's students difficult to control? Um, if you can look at my hair, I'm only 26 years old. <laughs> As you can see, I have a lot of white hair. Students are extremely difficult right now. Um, I m almost 90% of my classroom, their parents don't speak English. Wow. You know, has, has electronics really made teaching more difficult? Like, does everybody have iPads and they, they texting and everything during class? Well, um, I'm the only third grade teacher that has iPods because I was on the fourth board. I have a master's degree in technology and uh, my kids love their iPods. Okay, so you don't, re uh, iPods are fine in class. Oh, they love them. Uh, the kids are real responsible with them. Uh, they actually beg me for time with them, and they're, they get a lot of, a lot of good math tools, reading tools, and everything else. Okay. <laughs> Osned says, is Leo as special in person as he is on the screen? I would, I would say even more. Leo's, Leo is probably one of the most amazing people that I've, that I've ever met besides yourself. Uh, oh my <laughs> if you ask him for time, he will give you time. He's very caring, very loving, very concerned about what he does. Great, great. Yeah, the, yeah, the only other person, uh, you know, I always tell Leo this, and Leo takes it as the ultimate comment, is that Leo has a lot of Bill Gaines in him, you know. Yeah is a very unique person has his own standards lives by them dies by them uh, doesn't care much what other people think if it's if it in his mind is the right thing very few people like that uh i right, wanted yeah, two more questions just, and then I, we're... I found him very amazing good okay a couple more questions for mike and then we'll go into uh logo <laughs> um, okay, your favorite Twitch show, Kevin Dublin. My, my favorite, well, well, I, I, I think you already know what that is. It's either going to be the weekly oh, Matt Matt Break Gizzles, weekly daily Gizzles, Gizzles, or right now it's the daily Giz Fizz. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. This is good. This is another one from Web nine eighty ninety eight eighty. Let me just find it again. The craziest thing that has ever happened in class. Oh, I don't know if I want to mention this. Well, uh, that, that, I, the whole I, object would be. <laughs> you don't have to mention names. Well, I, 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 I shared a, I, I shared a story with, uh, with, with Gene yesterday. We had a teacher that was leaving my prior school. I think Gene's going to probably rush in here and tell me not to tell this. And uh, uh, the, the kids wanted to give her a going away present. Oh, Jean, Jean just said, go ahead. Well, what happens is that the kids went into mom and dad's uh, nightstand, I'm thinking, and they gave the teacher that was going away a pair of pink fur-lined handcuffs <laughs> and a bottle of love cream. Oh. <laughs> uh, I have not done show and tell since I've left that school. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. That's very funny. You know, Mike, I also wanted to tell you that that uh, you haven't signed out of the chat room, right? Well, I, I don't know if I have. I'm using Okay, but if, if you I haven't, you should, if, if you haven't signed out of the chat room or if Gene's in the chat room, you should see how many people are saying to thank Mike for being a teacher. Um, oh, thank you. For, I, I appreciate that. By the way, I was also a veteran for 12 years. <laughs> wow, okay. So will we thank you. I'll thank you for that, too. 
I got a chest uh, right, full so, of medals, so. Uh, oh, great, great. All right, so I'll have one final, <laughs> one final okay. question, and then we'll let Mike go. Uh... Let's see, any, oh, one final question for Mike. Okay, uh, Mike, what service were you in? Okay, I hope you got some time. Uh, I first joined the Air Force when I was 17. I got out of the Air Force. Um, I needed extra money. I went back into the Navy in, uh, out on Freeport on Long Island. So I served out there. Then I met Gene, uh, went back in the Air Force. We were at Beale Air Force Base in California which is why I'm here. And then when I got out of uh, the Air Force, I went into the Army here in Sacramento. And then I finally said, enough is enough. I have enough of shoes. I have enough of camouflage clothing. I need to uh, not get shot at anymore. Wow. So, so in other words, you snubbed the Coast Guard. Yes. That was the only, <laughs> the, only, the only branch you didn't go in. Wow. Yeah, I, I okay. everything for the Coast Guard and the Marines. And then, oh, the Marines. Okay. Uh, Mike, thanks for being uh, the chat room celebrity of the week. And <laughs> <laughs> email your address again. I'll send you the current issue of Mad Magazine. And uh, I'll send an autograph, 30-plus-year-old uh, Alfred E. Newman picture for you and another separate one for Gene. And I always appreciate what you do, Dick. You've, you've made me laugh. Since we were both knee high in diapers, and you were writing when you were two years old, that's why we love you so much. Well, thank you. So, thanks so much for coming in. That's great, Mike. Thank no you. No problem. Give my love to everybody there. Okay, but well, that's Myra. Everybody else is in the chat room. Okay. And Dennis Take and the care. Dogs. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Okay, and then that was great. That was really great. I never ever heard of a person who went from service to service. That that is just incredible. Uh, okay.